Hey guys! I'm back after a very eventful quarantine summer of going nowhere and doing nothing. But now I'm back, and I'm here to talk about some more tablets, and to give some away. Most of my tablet reviews aren't sponsored, but this time XP Pen is sponsoring this video, which makes it possible for me to give two of you guys a brand new tablet. I'll tell you more about the giveaways later, but for now, let's just talk about these guys. XP Pen just dropped a new line of tablets called Line Friends. Um, these aren't really new models, but they're special versions of the Star G640, the Deco 1 version 2, and the Artist 12 Pro. There's one major difference between XP Pen's other tablets and the Line Friends, and that is they come with designs on the surface, which I think changes the game. My guess is that this is going to start a trend of tablet manufacturers putting designs on their tablets. Um, but let it be known, as far, as far as I know, XP Pen's the first one to do it, and it's great. I was kind of curious about how long the design would last before it gets scratched off just by normal use, but um, they actually included these screen protectors in it. So it'll protect the design of the tablet and the actual hardware. Also, it gives it a fun paper texture, and it's really, really easy to put on and take off. I hate those thin screen protectors that are like, they just trap hair and dirt underneath them. They are infuriating. I refuse to get them. But these are not at all like that. They were extremely easy to put on, which is very, very helpful. So I want to start with the Star G640 because, oh my god, it is the tiniest, cutest little tablet I've ever seen. And the fact that it has a little animal on it now almost makes it unbearable. Just look at it. Look at him. It's only 6 by 4 inches, but it has the same number of pressure levels as large professional tablets. Uh, a tablet this size is great for a beginner. It's only $50, and it's easy to carry around with you. Plus, the Line Friends version comes with some cute stationery, like stickers and sticky notes and a little tiny ruler with a bear on it. For people who need a bigger drawing surface, the Deco 1 version 2 is about 6 by 10 inches, and also comes with a little design on it, and a protective cover, and all the same cute stationery as the little one, except this one also has a pencil case. Look deeply into his eyes. Tell him that he's not adorable. You can't. Unlike the little Star G640, the Deco has tilt support, which means that tilting your pen can give the brushes different effects. This is something that professionals and diehard Photoshop users tend to use, but for a beginner it might not be as important. And at $90, under $100, very worth it, especially because XP Pen products tend to last a long time. For fans of display tablets, this is the Artist 12 Pro. It has a 1080p laminated display, and for people who aren't nerds and don't know what that means, it basically means that it's high definition, and there isn't any parallax, which is the tiny space that you see between your pen and the surface when you press down. And there's also tilt support. Um, the Artist 12 is about $300, about $100 less than the leading brand's display tablet of the same size. I won't be pulling this one out to test, but I've used the 15.6 Pro in the past, which is basically a larger version of this from XP Pen. And you can see my video review on that by clicking the thumbnail. The downside of doing these reviews is that I don't usually get to see how long the tablet will last, which I know is a big part of choosing tablet because I'm always moving on to the next one. But I can vouch that these will last a long time because um, I did use a regular XP Pen tablet for uh, over a year. And if you know me, then you know I tend to accidentally abuse my tablets, so they're sturdy enough to withstand my antics. My roommate um, also uses the 15.6 Pro religiously, and uh, it doesn't overheat, which is amazing, because overheating is a very common problem in higher-end tablets. Uh, the corner of it uh, will heat up super hot so you can't even touch it, or possibly damage hardware, but that's not a problem with the uh, XP Pen displays that I've tested. All of the tablets are thin and lightweight, and even the Artist 12, which is the biggest one here, is small enough to travel with. Um, none of the pens or the tablets themselves have batteries that need to be charged or replaced. Um, although, if you're new to buying drawing tablets, you should know that these aren't standalone systems. It means you have to have a computer to plug them into. And in the case of display tablets like the Artist 12 Pro, you also need to have an HDMI port on your computer. If your computer doesn't have an HDMI port, which is increasingly common for reasons completely beyond me, you can just get an adapter. Um, you can also use the Artist 12 Pro with Android smartphones, and I think you can also use the Deco with, with Androids. I know I haven't really been around as much, I've been really overwhelmed with school, I had to take classes over the summer, but it was really refreshing to do this piece for XP Pen. 
Um, they didn't require that I had to draw their little mascots, but I really, really wanted to do that because I genuinely like them. I mean, the bear and the bunny are in love. Are you kidding me? How freaking cute is that? I'm gonna break something. When I was little, I got uh, Manga Studio Debut 4, and I, I never really used it, but I did stare at the box all the time because there was this painting of a beautiful woman holding a giant pen staff. And that was one of the first times that I had ever seen this mash of cartoon and realism. And I was fascinated with the style of art that they used in this to, to advertise art programs or uh, really commonly to put on tablet boxes. I wanted so badly to be one of those illustrators who got to draw these beautifully rendered pictures of girls with brightly colored hair, like holding tablet pens. So when I got to do an illustration for XP Pen, I knew immediately what I was gonna do. It was really cathartic to not worry about school for just a minute and to draw something just for the sake of it being really, really cute. So I feel like I should be thanking XP Pen for that opportunity. And I'd also like to thank XP Pen for making it possible to give these tablets to you guys. This raffle is free and the winners are chosen randomly, so everybody has a fair chance. All you need to do is follow my YouTube channel and also XP Pen's YouTube channel. Also, they have these little animations with their mascots posted on their YouTube channel, so you can check those out while you're there, and they are so cute. I usually don't really care about mascots that are designed just to be cutesy, but something about these little Sanrio looking dudes just compels me. Anyway, you can get extra entries by following my other social media accounts, but the only required one is my YouTube and XP Pen's YouTube. The giveaway will end October 10th, 1010, and I'll contact the winners directly as well as post it on my social media. So yeah, I kind of felt really good making this video for the first time in a while. You know, sometimes talking about tablets can be really boring and I get worried that you guys are bored of it, but having a little duck printed on the surface kind of helps. Um, so I hope you guys got some good information from this video, and if not, then I hope you at least enjoy the illustration, because I definitely did. Um, if you're new, then welcome, and if you've been here a while, then thanks for sticking around, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!